Hailing frequencies open, sir. Hailing frequencies open, Captain. I'm Nichelle Nichols, and I played Lieutenant Uhura in Star Trek. Contact established, Captain. Seeing someone like Lieutenant Uhura on that stage, you know, he's right behind the captain's shoulder was a big thing. You know, I felt I could probably do that, too. Well, she's the most important person on the bridge. When Lieutenant Uhura says, Captain, everybody turns around to look. You cannot help but fall in love with her. <laughs> Starfleet Command extends greetings to Commissioner Beale of the planet. And Sheriff. remember, this wasn't really the 23rd century. It was the 1960s, at the height of the civil rights movement. The vision of her on the bridge as a member of the crew was such a powerful message to African Americans at the time of what might be possible. Analysis sector. I didn't see any other women playing roles like that when I was growing up. You know, they had either some domestic job, they might have been an actress or a dancer. African Americans saw the show and went, what? You know, like, we're on TV. She presented a totally a sort of out of the box opportunity for us to think, hey, that might be possible. There were Southern stations that uh, told NBC, well, we're not going to run the show because you have a black woman on the bridge. And Gene Roddenberry told NBC, tell them to go to hell. Pardon my language, but that's exactly what he said. There is a place for you on the Starship Enterprise. We're all going to the stars, not some of us, not just white men. We are all going. There were many little girls, black, white, yellow, brown, red, green, <laughs> wanted to be a whore, loved a whore. But thanks to Nichelle and the work she subsequently did with NASA, the door was now firmly open for Mae Jemison to become NASA's first African-American female astronaut. Dr. Mae Jemison, um, of course, is a hero, shero for me. I recruited the first women and minority astronauts for the space shuttle program. I really am proud of that because at that time, People were saying, it'll never happen, you know? And I said, uh, well, it already happened. I'm getting no signal from it, sir. It turns out that for the chief communications officer of the Starship Enterprise, there's communicating, and then there's communicating. I would see you so busy at Man. This is a very important episode in both Star Trek history and television history. Because in it, Captain Kirk, William Shatner, kisses Lieutenant Uhura. And this is one of the first, most famous interracial kisses on TV. And at the time in the 60s, this was considered a very big deal. It was just a kissing scene. In its day, this was an incredibly controversial Thing to show on television. After it aired, everyone waited to see what will the reaction be? Will there be any complaints? There were none, none whatsoever. I said, well, it's just two people like my grandmother and grandfather. He said, what do you mean your grandmother, grandfather? And I said, well, gr grandpa was white and grandma was black. 